Hello, my name is Rubbish, and my talk is better than him. Albert Einstein was smart, but I'm way better at eating ass. As you can see, Albert Einstein, being a genius, knew a lot about dinosaurs. And what dinosaurs like? They like eating meat, as you can see here. Now, what else is meat? A cock. And you know what? As a dinosaur, I would love me some good fucking cock. <laughs> and you know what's next to the cock? The asshole! This equals penis. Penis next to ass, as you can see there. Now, I thought of this next thing while I was in my underpants. And believe me, I'm in my underpants a lot. When you want to eat ass, <laughs> you got to make sure the legs are spread wide, as you can see here. Having a wide stance, so you can get that mouth right there in the gooch area <laughs> to get that sweet, sweet ass. I hope you learned something today, and if you didn't, here's what I really suggest. Fucking go cry about it and brag about it on your fucking blog, loser. <laughs> Be mad about not being able to eat ass. Cause bitch, I'm the king at eating ass. I'm the queen at eating ass. I am the best at eating ass. You see that frown? When I eat your ass, that frown goes upside down. Can't you tell? And then you don't got the sad eyes, you got the the ooh eyes, you know? Anyway, thank you for coming to this TED Talk. I hope you all enjoyed. Okay, so half of your score comes from how many times people hit the buttons. Up, down... Ah, how many times I hit the, the button. Comes from the yeah, so having an auto-clicker has given you a... Fuck the stats with an auto. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Rubbish2 and my talk is about... Uh, to get sweet revenge on my haters, I will spend my life becoming a femboy. I wrote that one. It's a difficult life process, but we're gonna go through how I got here. It was all about family. Family is important. If you've ever seen the very good and important cultural significant franchise, The Fast and the Furious, you know it's all about family and they were the first real haters in my life <laughs> but here's where it gets spicy <laughs> uh, once those haters sort of left me behind more and more haters started to appear so i had to embrace the femboy lifestyle harder and harder and harder that ended up with me crashing hard <laughs> I almost died, my life went off the rails, but the family helped. As in Fast and Furious, you crash, it doesn't matter how hard you crash, it just matters that you get back up. Unless you're Paul and... Walker. Well, Paul Walker is a uh, very, very, very... <laughs> Um, uh, that's when I learned something truly shocking. And this is a very deep femboy secret that not many people know. And that's that Paul Walker is not dead. <laughs> he is also now a woman. <laughs> he became a femboy to deal with the haters. He's hiding from public life. And uh, only some of us know where he is. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I that was my speech on this. getting past the haters. <laughs> Hello, my name is Snotty, and today we're going to be discussing... Quake in fear, mortals, for nothing can stop my evil plan to eat dogs. This is a very, very significant topic for me, and I'm totally not suffering as I speak. As you can see here, these are a bunch of cats, 
and these cats are training for one thing, and that's to win against dogs. Because for many centuries, people have favorited dogs and just let them get away with the most stupid shit. Do you see this? This right here is what happens when you just let dogs go off without a reason. Okay? It's unfair. It's just ridiculous. But what is the source of my evil power? I'm glad you asked. You see, this is a beaver, and beavers are some of the smartest animals in the kingdom because they figured out how to do industrial complexities. And this is related to my plan to destroy all dogs, because if I flood the entire earth with a giant beaver dam, then all the dogs will drown. My plan is foolproof, I promise you. I confess, there is one way to stop me, but you won't like it, but you also won't ever figure it out because you guys are too smooth-brained to understand my moral complexities. Monkeys. <laughs> the only other animal, aside from beavers, that could possibly stop me, because as we all know, apes are the second smartest creatures on the face of the earth next to humans, whales, and arguably pigs. What about raccoons? We- and, and raccoons, fine, whatever. Thank you. I'm here to talk about a thing. Next. And this thing is very important. There's, now is the time to panic about gay pigeons. We all know birds aren't real. They're government drones designed to spy on us. We also all know that they've been putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. And what does that mean? It now means that because of pink elephants, the same water that's turning all the elephants pink and gay are now turning the pigeons gay. <laughs> and what, what do we know about gay pigeons? That they fly around backwards and it makes it very hard for the government to survey through their eyes when they're flying asshole first. But with the magical pink elephants, the elephants, who are also government drones, by the way, don't listen to the lies, grab the pigeons out of the sky and turn them around so that they fly forwards again. And these flying forwards pigeons are here to spy on us. Let me tell you a story that's loosely related to this subject. So one time I was at the zoo, and I was doing everything you do at the zoo. You go around, you look at the animals, you get assaulted by the locals, and you fist fight lions. The problem is, all of the lions had suddenly caught fire. And during my time trying to fist fight these lions, I wasn't getting very far. Because when, li when lions do an extra d6 of fire damage, I can't out DPS them. And the pigeons were recording this and sending it back to the government overlords who were finding new ways to rewrite my DNA by feeding me backwards hot dogs. <laughs> the same backwards hot dogs they feed to these lions to give them the high level of fire resistance they need. If you really care about me, you'll do what I tell you. The first thing you need to do is you need to stop eating backwards hot dogs. These backward hot dogs contain mercury, and we all know mercury is a liquid at room temperature. So when liquids inside of your body come out of your body, you get the desire to be gay and buy gift cards. Mm. And when you give these gift cards to strangers, what's really happening is you're giving them little cards that have magnetic strips in. And the government used these magnetic strips to turn everything gay. If it wasn't for gift cards, you wouldn't have the weird urges to buy mini skirts every time you walk in to a shop. If it wasn't for these gay gift cards, you wouldn't feel the desire to put whole pizzas in your ass. The last time the government got away with this, it ended the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I'm 
glad I've raised, raised awareness of gay pigeons. That'd be too funny. Let's see. Spoke too much about cocks. I only care for ass. Ass question mark? Fat <laughs> boy Paul Hawks. <laughs> Can you send Paul Hawks nudes? <laughs> Dogs? The speaker seemed to be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. Pizza in the ass! And now, the moment of truth. Don't touch me, I peace. <laughs> the pizza in the ass award award. The red pill award? Damn! The go government lies! Why'd the British are the only ones who got rewards? Damn it! Uh, if only my- it was obviously my tooth decay pain that sabotaged me, it's totally not because I am not very charismatic. Well, the answer was to just keep talking bullshit, it seems, and uh... Yeah! 